Hey everyone, mango 7 Rule here. How are we doing today? Uh, welcome to New Banner. I did not see any sort of spoilers. I think this is supposed to be a Fates one, if I'm recalling correctly, with uh, Flora and all those shenanigans. Um, super excited for this. 1 minute 41 seconds of pure action. Uh, let's get into this and see what's coming. Um, as for predictions, uh, I'm not expecting any alts. I do not think we'll get any alts. I'm sure I'll be wrong. Um, I'm expecting at least one insanely attractive female. Um, I'm expecting at least one dude. Um, maybe a cavalry with a lance or something like that. Or probably an axe. An axe is more fitting right now. Um, and if flora is a thing, I'm expecting like a red dagger type unit. Uh... I guess here we go. I'm not expecting anything as nuts as Lewin, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Let's get going. Fire Emblem, Fates, and Conquest. Yep, yep, yep. Dramatic Heroine. Oh. Wow, look at that art. Look at that art. That is, um, that checks the first box off, right? Extremely attractive female who's probably a little young. Um, wow, she is not even wearing pants. Like, screw pants, let's just wear a bikini. Cool. Um, love her outfit. She looks like a, um, female Odin. So hopefully her stats are a little different than Odin. She's in the infantry tome. The art is absolutely gorgeous. The way she's holding on to her cape there is just amazing. I love the hair. I love everything about it. This is awesome. Um, and they, uh, doesn't look like they did too much, uh, specific fan service style things. Mistletane, is that so? Uh, Mistletane, accelerates special trigger cooldown count at the start of turn one, grant special trigger cooldown minus one for each magic ally on your team. Really cool. Relay up attack, what? Grants plus six attack to the target ally and all allies within two spaces of target. Um, so I'm guessing that's another 400 SP skill. I feel like that's what they should have done instead of, uh, dual rally plus. I uh, love that. Um, chill res, really, really cool there. Sturdy blow, eh, can do without it. Um, also kind of weird, sturdy blow on a tome, um, not very expected. So this is a weird skill set and one I hope, um, it's demoted, to be entirely honest. Chill res is fantastic, but I would love to have that rally on a four star unit. Really like the idea of it, although um, it's kind of not too good in the current arena meta. Um, obviously, it's good for actually winning, but not good in um, the current arena sense of the word. Or actually, maybe it is because you could rally um, a target ally and then buff your bonus unit uh, as a side note. So maybe I, maybe I take that back. Maybe it is quite good. I guess we'll see here. Um, let's see this mistletane animation. Oh my god, that tome is amazing looking. I spy. Oh my lord. Oh my lord is she beautiful. Um, so we have Nina here, another or another infantry archer. Love everything. This is amazing. This is another really, really, really amazing art. Her hair is just so simplistically awesome with the hearts and the braids. The headband is so great. I love the leggings. I'm a sucker for leggings. You guys know that. Um, the belt is really cool with the keys on it as well. Uh, wow. She looks am Wow, this, the bow is just phenomenal. Look at that bow. Okay, and it is a shining bow. If foe's defense is more than foe's res, it deals an extra 7 damage. That is really cool. Um, speed, res, link, and bow valor. So, pretty boring skill set. Uh, the weapon is pretty sweet. I like that it's a new style of weapon. Um... Speed and Reslink are some of those fun abilities that I just really, really, really like, but I can never use because they're on five-star exclusives usually. Um, and Bow Valor is Bow Valor. So interesting skill sets here. Let's see your animation. Nothing too special there, um, I don't think. Oh wow! Look at look at her look at her art right there. Look at that cute little tongue sticking out. Love, 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 love this stance. And. People might make some backbreaking comments like they did with Noir here, but I don't think so. I think that's reasonable enough. Um, really, really, really like this. In your dreams! So cool. And then the dude on a cavalry with a, an axe? Loyal Knight. 
Silas. Oh, he's got a lance. Sorry. Sorry, I was incorrect. He was a cavalry with a lance. Um, slain, spear, boring. Reposition, fodder, sweet. Steady stance, boring. Even defense wave, really good. Um, but overall, pretty subpar skill set for this dude. Um, as expected for the guy of the banner. Um, I'm assuming that's the only one too, right? There's no... Oh, there's a fourth. Cold as ice. Oh, yeah. We knew this was coming. This is Flora. I totally forgot about this. I was so, like, forgetting about the other things. So she looks beautiful. Uh, she looks exactly like we expected her to look like. She's a red dagger as we expected her to be. Um, wow, she looks pretty pretty. Horfrost Knife. I'm accelerate special cooldown. If unit initiates combat and foe uses sword, lance, axe, or dragonstone grants, plus 20... What? Plus 20 defense during combat. Are you sure? In a folk encounter, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. After combat, if unit attacks, inflicts minus 7 defensive res. Okay, so this gives her 20 plus defense against everybody that is not magic, right? Sword, Lance, Axe, Dragonstone. Okay, so not bows. Um, and that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. That's it. 20 defense. That's insane. Even if her defense is like 12, that still makes her like pretty tanky. And then of course, debuffs as well. Um, wow, that's hilarious. 20 defense is so unbelievably funny. Um, Iceberg is pretty sweet too. Attack rest solo. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, grants attack and res 6 during combat as... I mean, what else would Solo do? Uh, QR3 is pretty sweet, and Defense Ploy is also pretty sweet. The Flora is just freaking hilarious. Like, this is this is the most hilarious weapon I think I've ever seen. 20 defense, like, the worst part is she's still gonna die to Bold Fighter, um, Belgius or Bold Fighter or anything. So looking at her insanely interesting skill set here, I'm noticing a lot of things. Like, this character is telling us a lot of stories. Um, for one, I, I don't know if she's going to be fast or not. I don't think so, um, because there's no real other reason to give her QR3, and you also have guaranteed follow-ups on her Horfrost Knight as well. Um, so that is really, really, really cool. So there's a good chance she's slow, but that doesn't really make sense from a character standpoint, IMO. Um, also, Attack Res Solo, if you think about that when it comes down to something like... Um, Attack speed solo, maybe something like a Swift Sparrow. It just doesn't make any sense to not use uh, this over Swift Sparrow, for example. So once we get um, better versions of attack res solo or attack speed solo or attack defense or even like defense res or anything like that, we're going to see those just explode in usefulness because they're probably going to be um, super insane if they're even available. So really keep that in mind. Um, we're going to have a better Swift Sparrow coming eventually, assuming they complete the cycle. We also don't know the SP cost yet, so maybe they're even DC style uh, SP cost, which would be um, amazing as well. And also, um, Horfrost Knight only works on when she initiates combat. So the really cool part about Horfrost Knight and this character in general I'm finding is um, her ability to really do everything. Uh, just from a skill standpoint, I don't know her stats, maybe she can't. But for example, um, the way I see her skill set set up, she's got defense ploy to make sure she gets the kills. Um, she's got QR3, and this will allow her to bait other mages, maybe some um, archers, and then get the follow-up kill against those speedy units and get the kill with um, the defense ploy as well. Also, if you're baiting mages, you do have uh, attack res solo and presumingly really high resistance. Uh, and then against melee, when you're initiated on them, you have that extra 20 defense, so um, you can survive that counterattack. So odds are um, she's not going to be meant to tank any sort of melee, but she will be used to um, cancel distant counter melees, basically. Uh, and she'll be also used to uh, counter ranged units, although she's probably just going to die like my Sakura does. Um, so that's something really cool to think about with this unit, how they designed her. Uh, we'll see how it works in practice, but um, the skill set really doesn't make any sort of sense when you just kind of stare at it, but it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Just something really interesting about the unit I thought I would talk about. That is also everybody for the banner here. Uh, it's time to talk demotions. First off, it's not going to be Flora. Uh, I don't think it'll be Flora whatsoever. 
Um, there's also Ophelia here, and I don't think it's going to be her either. She just looks like a character that is not ever going to be devoted. Um, she also has, presumably, a 400 SP rally, which is great for whales. Um, and that leaves these two. So I do think Silas is prime opportunity to, for demotion because um, he does share colors with Ophelia and it makes sense for them to demote one of the two that share colors. Uh, and it's possible we even get a second demotion in Mina. I don't think so, but um, that would be my guess if anything, just because her bow seems like a fun opportunity for people to use. Um, it's also movement fodder, which I think they might want to get more of in Cool. And it also gives speed, res link, uh, and even defense wave in the four star pool to give some people some more fun for B and C skills um, without it being too overpowered. Like if this was um, uh, odd attack wave or odd speed wave or even speed wave or anything like that, I would expect this guy not to be demoted. But because it's one of the lesser powered ones, at least in my opinion, um, I do think uh, he does have the opportunity. And Bow Valor isn't as good as it was before with infinite SP at this point either. So there's that. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. Stay tuned for other Fire Emblem Heroes content or Azur Lane or um, Regalia Lost or Fake Grand Order or Fire Emblem 10, whatever you're interested in. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this banner because I personally, I'm a pretty big fan of it. I like it so far. I don't care if it's fates. Like give us all the fates you want. Um, don't hurt me for that. Uh, don't hunt me down. I know uh, that's not a popular opinion, but They've got to get all the characters in sometime, and um, it makes sense for them to do the ones that'll sell the most, so I, I can't blame them for that. It is a gacha game after all. So anyways, have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye now!